Hello, I'm gonna show you guys what bird effigies look like. There's a bunch of them right in this one area. So you'll notice that everything kind of will end up being shaped like a bird beak, or it may be just a full bird head. So you might start be able, being able to spot some right away. This is one right here. This is kind of the shape of them. They're like, gonna be like a heart. And then usually on the back, it's gonna resemble another bird or a bird head. This one's got like a wing down there. Just gonna show off a couple of these cause they're all kind of concentrated around this entire area in about a three mile radius at least. So you'll see every single one is gonna be pointed and might have like a little eye chiseled onto it. You also notice a lot of geometric shapes and squares. And so after a little while, I started noticing that uh, you look at these, they look like birds on one side and then they resemble a facial profile on the other. So if they were smart enough to carve birds onto their stones, you know, I don't think it's that far-fetched to believe that they also did the faces on there, which is a fact. They most definitely did. This is an example of that with a carved in eye. And in some which way, he probably resembles a bird, if you look at the whole thing maybe. But you can see the amount of work done on this piece. We're not going to have to go far. We can just kind of look at everything in here, but you'll see how everything is a square. These don't look like the rocks in your backyard, do they? Especially not this variety. See that? They made these and they put birds on one side, but they do put profile pictures of people on the other. This is something that they didn't teach us in school. Maybe they didn't know. The birds are quite abstract, but that's because there's several images on the one rock. But the big bird head on the top kind of just lets you know to look, to look a little closer. Even the smallest little chips can be shaped like rocks. A lot of times they're this heart shape or V shape. I believe that's like a, a bird flying. And you'll see that theme throughout. Um, there's a couple different styles of bird, but that V style is a quite popular one. You can see how this stone is polished and worked to a flat edge. That wood it could be very old. Yep, there's another one here. Just a little one, you know? They make just a little tiny bird effigies. They're kind of abstract, but that's because they're faces as well. There's another cute one. See that? And then you have these little squares that a lot of times will come with them. Now these are piled up caches. Fortunately, these were ripped out of the ground and bulldozed over here. And so there may be some of them that have damage, but most of them made it out pretty good. Look at that one, very cool. So you'll see a lot of these are gonna have markings and striations and lines and things across them as they were worked by human hands. Humans built these.